Welcome guys to Idle Games TV and we're going to check out Dungeon Gates over here. Now a simple idle RPG with only one hero and lots of skins for you to buy with real cash if you want to do that. If not, it's going to be up to you. You're going to be able to reset your progress on and on and on. For example, right here, I cannot pass this stage. The boss is quite tough. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to reburn myself. So here it is, reburn and basically I'm going to reset my progress depending on how many uh, levels that I unlocked I'm going to be able to get a specific amount of relics now here it is a lot a lot of relics let's talk a bit about the relics so here it is you're going to have secret relics these are the ones that you're going to be able to actually buy from the shop with gemstones afterwards they're going to be immortals definitely quite rare with the biggest stats that you can find over here sorry Afterwards, legendary as you can see over here quite a lot of things the gold reward the, the gold from the monsters the attack speed the damage that you're going to do uh, adds more critical hits more damage and so on a lot a lot of passive things that you're going to be able to collect from these relics now you're going to be able to increase the bonus from the relic depending on how much specific relics are you going to find now the divine afterwards the regular ones so the regular ones are the the most weak ones basically but you're going to get those quite a lot now every time you're going to hit reborn over here you're going to get a random relic so you're not going to be able to choose them so obviously you're going to want to get more and more rewards and that's how you're going to be able to pass forward and forward now don't forget that you're going to want to have the progress on in order for you to go forward in the campaign now every time you're going to do some upgrades obviously you're going to increase the damage uh, of your hero uh, you're going to be able to upgrade the maximum of 100 uh, obviously if you're going to get uh, more gold coins you're going to be able to upgrade with hundreds basically with multipliers of hundreds now over here passives now the passives are basically some skills that you're going to be able to unlock when you're going to uh, reach a specific stage so it requires a specific amount of stage like for example the shining spirit will increase the status will increase the boss gems so basically every time you're going to kill a boss every 10 monsters are going to encounter a boss every stage has 10 monsters and one boss if you're going to kill the monster you're going to get seven gems at least for me now at first when you're going to start you're going to get only one gem afterwards two three four and so on now the passives these ones you're only going to be able to upgrade when you're going to reach those specific levels now the returning warrior uh, increases offline reward by 250 percent that's maximum amount that i'm going to be able to get critical strike double coins that dust focus strike and deja vu effects now as you can see those are uh, requiring me to reach specific stages in order for me to unlock them now besides that you cannot do anything so you're just going to need to reach that specific stage in order for you to unlock those specific things now you're going to have some ads that you're going to be able to watch you're going to have free ads over here uh, if you're going to watch this ad you're going to get some free gems it's a random thing so it depends how many gems are you going to get obviously if you're going to be further in the campaign you're going to have a better chance of getting more uh, more gems you're going to have an ad with uh, the gold coins obviously the same idea still applies if you're going to be further in the campaign obviously you're going to be able to get more gold coins out of it and so on now you're going to have the store over here now the store obviously you're going to be able to put real money it's going to be up to you if you're going to want to change different kinds of skins on your specific hero on your only one hero that you're going to have but what i can say is the fact that over here uh, in the gemstone part in the gem shop basically you're also going to be able to buy the fighter skin uh, with the gemstones that you're going to be able to collect out of this game so not necessarily you need to put real money in the game if you're going to buy skins you're not going to get any bonus out of it or the only the the visual thing you're going to get yeah definitely you can put real money and you will get uh, gemstones so get some gemstones in order for you to buy new and new things definitely that will be better now one thing to keep in mind is the fact that uh, one two three the first six buffs over here in the gem shop are uh, basically the first three my bad or for 30 seconds so please keep in mind they will not add up so basically there are buffs and the last three things are instant things that are going to offer you gold chest large gold chest and super gold chest now whenever you're going to have a difficulty basically you're going to want to unlock one of those and you're going to get a high high amount of gold coins that you're going to need to level up don't don't buy these offers okay the things that you do want to buy over here 
or the relics now over here the lotus flower the lightning and the unlock material and even the divine bow is quite quite cool because it will increase the critical damage now besides those you're going to see that the last two so the void sword and the legendary shield the void sword deals five percent of the monster's hp for every hit so every time you're going to buy a new one a new one a new one and a new one basically you will be able to increase the percentage of the hit so definitely quite cool if you're going to go over here in the relic part and you're going to go to the stats you're going to see that you're going to have the damage bonus obviously depending on how many relics do you have you're going to see that increased you're going to have you're going to have my bad the attack speed bonus obviously that's going to increase as well the gold reward the critical damage the monster hp reduction so obviously from the relics as well you're going to be able to automatically decrease their hp with a specific amount of percentage but what you can also do as you can see the last one monster hp per hit so every time you're going to hit him doesn't necessarily uh, require to have a specific damage automatically it will cut from his health at least nine percent now obviously if you're going to have a better damage than those nine percent you're going to be able to kill him with only one swing obviously but depending on how many relics did you find and so on now you're going to be able to unlock depending on how much did you played those two buffs over here uh, those are going to be able to buff you up to 30 seconds and afterwards they're going to have a cooldown of 180 seconds if I remember correctly, so 3 minutes. What I said, if you're going to want to play it over here, you're going to want to uh, get some of the skins for free. Like for example the Samurai skin over there, as you can see it's uh, 8200 gemstones, not that much. The Dark skin, let's buy the Dark skin and let me show you how it is. So here it is. Now my samurai over there is dark i don't know why but what can you do now switch here it is i'm going to put this skin not so much not, not a big of a difference but what can you do so the dark skin and the night skin is going to be up to you on what you're going to consume the gemstones but what you're going to want to do as i said are going to be the lightning stitch obviously you're going to want to increase your attack speed because after a while you're going to see that the bosses are quite hard to kill and they're going, you're going to need to kill them basically in a specific time frame and although you'll have a high high damage that you're going to be able to uh, place on them you're going to see that you're not going to kill them in that specific time so you're going to want to have a high high attack speed in order for you to actually be able to kill them that's the idea now over here as i said uh, during the passive ones you're going to need specific uh, specific stages over here in the upgrade warrior every time try to upgrade the speed and the inner rage uh, as you can see they're going to level up automatically when you're going to reach those specific levels and uh, basically they will increase uh, the the buffs not the time the time will still remain the same so 30 seconds but they will increase the percentage or the attack speed that you can see over there now besides that not so many things to say if you're going to stay online you're going to be able to uh, watch an ad over here in the relic part and you're going to get a random relic from here uh, definitely it will be helpful at first in order for you to unlock new and new relics uh, after a while you're going to see that it's not going to be that fast you're not going to progress forward from stage 400 450 i'm quite stuck over there so i do need to uh, go over here in the gemstone part and try to buy uh, and try to increase my attack speed that's the that's the main idea that i do want to apply now besides that guys not so many things to say uh, let me know in the comments below if you have played it and reached further definitely it would be helpful if you have finished it let us know your main tips your main guides regarding this game definitely this is going to be even useful for the other guys that didn't start playing this game an interesting game not so many things to say about it as i said uh, too bad that if you're going to go offline you're not going to get any progress out of the game so you're still going to need to stay in the game in order for you to progress through, through the stages if you're going to go offline and you're going to come back obviously if you're going to watch an ad you're going to have the possibility to double up your gold coins and also double up your gemstones that you're going to get so definitely quite cool regarding that fact now besides that as i said a simple simple game uh, if you're going to get bored definitely it will keep you playing it it's not going to be that hard if you're a fan of these games let me know in the comments below let me know other other games that you do want me to play uh, when you're going to let's say encounter a hard hard boss you're going to see that you're going to grind basically that's what this will say you're going to grind a lot until you're going to be able to collect more and more gold coins 
in order for you to do more and more upgrades in order for you to be able to kill him obviously now as i said depending on your warrior level you're going to be able to unlock new and new relics right now if i'm going to reach level 500 i'm going to be able to unlock the second relic random relics keep in mind afterwards i'm going to need level 900 afterwards 1200 afterwards 1500 1800 2100 and so on it goes on and on and on now depending on what level will your warrior have not the stage okay so the level of your warrior is the one that it's important not the stage obviously it will be harder for you to level up because you will not get that high amount of gold coins after a while so you will still need to hit reborn in order for you to reset your game progress in order for you to get more buffs out of your relics and move forward and forward now guys, until next time, take care, don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button and be safe out there. Bye.